What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video we're discussing about a brand new update to the Dopamine Jailbreak which was released. The version 1.1.1 is now available and you can download it and jailbreak your device today. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of hours ago we got a new Dopamine Jailbreak update. For those of you who are unaware, the Dopamine Jailbreak is a jailbreak for iOS 15.0 up to 15.4.1 on all models modern devices, so basically A12 through A15, with M1 devices being supported as well. The jailbreak comes with Cilio and Zebra, you can run tweaks and it's basically a rootless jailbreak, but rootless jailbreaks are actually quite great. There are only a couple of minor modifications that are made to the tweaks, they are being installed in a different place, but really you can do the same with a jailbreak that is rootless, you would be able to normally do with a rootful jailbreak. So the jailbreak is now available here on the uh, dopamine jailbreak repo on GitHub and the version 1.1.1 one is available as an IPA file or .tipa file which you can install as says here on the website with either troll store or you can download it and sideload it with anything you want. Now the changelog is not exactly big, it says in here that the version 1.1.1 does the following things, add crash reporter for launch the crash reports, when launch the crashes now you will receive a detailed separate crash log alongside the incredibly cryptic init proc exited panic. So this will be basically a better way to figure out when something goes wrong and it helps the developer better understand what's going on if you send the log so they can fix possible bugs and crashes and whatever. Then we have fix several wrong offsets related to the ptrace hook, fix a bug in Maco parser where it would fail when parsing the dependencies from certain libraries and improve Wi-Fi re-enable reliability. Then of course it also updates the OPA inject to 1.0.6. That's the whole update, that's what it contains. However, OPA334, the developer of this jailbreak, is also currently investigating an issue with his pin lock panic and it doesn't seem to be very easy to fix. In fact, they've posted a couple of test builds and apparently that didn't fix it either, so they don't exactly know what the problem is at the moment. So while this version 1.1.1 is recommended for you to install, because it does fix some bugs and it does have improvements, this doesn't fix the spin lock panics over here, which are still being investigated. They said, quote, regarding spin lock panics in dopamine, I'm trying to rule out potential causes now and will post test builds. If a single user panics with the build, it means the issue is not fixed. And later on, they did post that this didn't fix the issue. So uh, it says, confirmed not to be the issue and yeah that's basically it. After the update the dopamine 1.1.1 was released they also posted this. So for those interested here is a fully symbolicated backtrace of the spin lock panic. Really doesn't give any more info other than the process tries to fault in memory and PVH lock times out. So for now we don't know what exactly causes the issue, but it remains to be seen. Now for those of you who are using the dopamine jailbreak, you should update the version 1.1.1 and it should be possible to update to the version directly from your jailbreak. If you open the jailbreak application, there should be an update at the bottom of your screen. So definitely go ahead and update your tools. So that's basically it, thank you for watching, update your dopamine and till next time, peace out.